I'm Stuart from Iron Rat, and I bring the thunder on Thunderlord. Right, my main base for Iron Rat is this Spectre, uh, Spectre Legend from around about 2000. Um, it's mostly small and easy to throw around, which I love, and it's a long scale, it's 35 inch scale, so it works really well with the Iron Rat tunings. Iron Rat uses GC, GCF, and then we also use Drop A on occasions now as well. So this is set up so I can swap between those tunings beautifully. With it being the extended scale, it just copes with that low G like a beast. And uh, nice, it's active, EMG pickups in there. It's got a bit of punch. Not always as much as I'd like, but it just does me proud every time I try and tweak it. PV Mark VI Spacehead. Beautiful little thing. I've had it 15, 20 years. It's come to me from uh, Jeff from uh, Excalibur. And every time I think, oh, I could just use replacing it with something more modern, I go and tweak the sound again, and I just fall in love again. It is an absolute beauty. I love it to pieces. And that has been paired with my another cab I've had for little bit longer, uh, my Marshall JCM 800 base series, 4x10. And this just, I don't know what it is, it just keeps on punching out real low end rumble in a way that I've not actually managed to get any other base cab to do. Again, love it to bits, I uh, wish I still had it matching 2x15. And this is the pedal board. Bigger than it needs to be, but I like to have plenty of options. First thing, strobe tuner that's always on. I play pedal notes that often, I can constantly check my tuning and make sure that I'm in or not without even having to stop playing. That feeds into bass soul food for a beautiful overdrive sound. And it's got a blend on it so you can blend in some of the original bass signal on there so it keeps lots of low end. Sounds meaty as it gets. From then we go into Digitech Bass Synthwire and that is my silly pedal. That at the moment is set up to do uh, a really thick synthy uh, bass overdrive um, octave thing going. It's got, you've got to hear it. Bass EQ is next up and that is really just set to change the sound in the room if I need to do, tweak anything with it on there. Into the compressor, which is always on. I play hard and I play heavy, so I need to squeeze my signal a heck of a lot just to actually stop blowing things up. From there, we go into chorus. I love that big fat 80s chorus sound. It doesn't work in Iron Rap, but it's there for everything else I do. Cheapest pedal on the board, the Donna Yellow Fall Delay. It's just there for fun, and it's just so much fun. We use it at the end of Weed Machine just to get a uh, self oscillating sound, Martin does it as well on the guitar, it just sounds brilliant and it's just cheap, cheery, tiny little pedal that I absolutely love. From there we go into the preamp and I've always set up this way, I've never been able to rely on having an amp or a head, I might be borrowing, I might not even having anything like this so I've always wanted to set up so the pedal board gets me everything I needed before I get to the amp and that's the whole definition here so this is just set up it's a hardcore bass attack, lovely pedal, um, 
We've got a boost on there which will boost the treble and it also had a bit of overdrive on there so that's what I use when I when I kick in on Thunderlord and you just want to bring in that extra little definition. Um, and that's really it. I could cut this pedal board down and I'll just go tuner, compressor and then the preamp and I'll still be golden. And finally Line 6 wireless for playing on bigger stages because there's nothing like being able to run around. Most of the way through writing the new album, it's uh, when we sit back and listen to the first album, it was great, it was brilliant. But you know how when you look on something, you think, right, I would have changed that, I would have done that differently. So we are which doing things like changing tuning. We're doing uh, a lot more complicated riffs. There are the harmonies that are going on at the moment that Martin and uh, Wayne are pulling together are tremendous, and the, we're pulling in on I think far more influences than we did on the first album. There's stuff going on in there. There's right for a for effectively a stoner rock doom band. We're pulling on influences like the Almond Brothers, Smashing Pumpkins. Um, all I mean, it's coming from all over the place. I mean, Martin's uh, Martin soloing has just been coming mostly out of Rory Gallagher. So it's been brilliant to have that come about, and especially this time with Gordon in on drums because he is loud. So uh, yeah, that's what's working on there, and then uh, we'll see what we can pick up straight after that one. So uh, hopefully we'll get ourselves on Bloodstock again or something like that. And uh, yeah, not plug it at all, Chris Sand. But a couple more gigs in Coventry would be awesome.